Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peaks Peak. If you're new to the channel, my name's Lucas, and we are sharing our hobbies here on 38 acres in Eastern Kentucky. And today, we are working on our mill shed. Now guys, we are so excited to have this MechMax SM26 sawmill setting it up in our wood yard and we want to get it protected from the weather so we are starting on our shed build now most of the time people build their sawmill sheds with lumber that they mill with their own sawmill and we are going to finish it out with that but i am in a rush to get this thing under roof so that it's protected from the weather i don't like it getting rained on i put a tarp over the motor for right now but i really want to get it under roof so i have purchase the basic framing lumber the headers and the things that i need just to get it under roof and then i'll finish it out with lumber that we mill so that's kind of the way we're going to tackle this project i've already gotten started i've got my four corner posts set we've kind of got the layout set up and i initially said i was going to make this eight foot by 25 foot but i decided to go ahead and go 10 foot deep because the way the mill is set up, the handle sticks out further and I want to make sure I have plenty of room to walk around it and stay under roof. And I also want to leave room for expansion. Now you've noticed the space here on the end of our sawmill rails. That's because I want to be able to extend the rails out and you just never know how things are going to go. I, I really like this mill and it fits what we're doing perfectly. But down the road, I may want a 32 inch or a 36 inch or something like that. So I want the roof to be something that never has to change, even if I decide to adapt or go, you know, bigger with the sawmill or, or whatever we want to do. This is exciting stuff. It's going to be a good time. Caden ran down to the house to get a few more tools, but he's going to be with me on the build today. What I hope to do today is get, I have four more posts to set for my frame, you know, for the perimeter of the shed. And then I've got my headers and all that. I don't know that I can get all of the headers up today but i'd like to get those posts set i got quick setting concrete we'll get all that set up and then hopefully we'll start putting up some headers and uh, i got uh, see the rafters and all that to cut so we got a lot to do we'll see how far we can get Hi. so what do you think about all this caden are you are you excited about this project yes why are you excited about it because um um i just don't think um because you think I expect you to be? This one's not as fun for you as the cabin was, is it? But I think you'll, I think you'll have a good time hanging out with me up here. What are you going to do today? Got, got your wrestling men, WWE guys. I am going to start laying out where my next posts need to go and marking the ground and digging some holes and Caden's off to figure out where he's going to play.
Well, we got a cage match going on here. WWE Overcooked 45. Get it? Huh. WWE Raw. WWE Overcooked. I'll go back to work now. <clears throat> Well, guys, progress is going great. I'm really excited. We got the four posts set that we needed to set. I decided rather than trying to frame the roof of the lean-to and put rafters on, on you know, tall shaky posts with no support, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and kind of build my band frame around this and get my bracing in, which is being built with lumber that I milled. I milled two by sixes and two by fours out of oak and they're, probably not the greatest building materials because you know I'm learning how to mill but overall I don't think they look too bad and it's gonna make a nice nice setup here I'm gonna get this banded all together and I'm gonna get my header boards put on here and man I don't know but what we can't get all that done today and if I can get that done today I should be able to get the rafters put on through this week get my metal ordered my next weekend we'll have this thing under roof that'd be pretty exciting All right, guys, well, Caden brought lunch. He went down to uh, fix us some lunch and brought back turkey sandwiches and chips and brownies and the whole work, so I'm pretty excited. And the cabin's coming right along, although I did something really silly. I stretched my line, put my line level on, and marked me a line on the post across the header so that I could continue banding this frame together. Well, when I got to this side, I forgot that I marked the top of the board instead of the bottom of the board so I hung the board up on top of the line instead of below the line and I got around the corner and I was looking down it and I was like wait a minute this is way too high <laughs> so I had to 
take all that back loose and drive the nails out and then redo it. But eh, that's kind of part of it. All right, I'm gonna eat some lunch. All right, well guys, we we got done more than I expected to get done today. We got the entire band framed. We got all of the headers put on. We got everything all tied together to where we're ready to start putting our rafters on. Now, I'm also going to put a band on the inside. So like these headers that are across the front, there's gonna be a set of those on the inside of the posts as well. But I'll wait until I put my rafters on first and then I'll just put it up against it when I install it because we'll have the pitch and the angle it's just easier to line all that up and hook it together at that point so so that's how i'm doing that we uh we uh we went ahead and unloaded the rest of the lumber off of the trailer and put it back there on the lumber stand and we took the truck down and had him bring me back up because i gotta get the tractor and take it down so gonna be a popsicle while i was down there okay nori ate his sorry go on pretty good aren't you Mm -hmm. when you're sick at least. Yep. But I love them anyways. It's been a beautiful day, hasn't it, bud? Mm -hmm. Hey, tell everybody what you've been doing today. Playing with my dog. And her name is? Maple. Maple, yeah. Maple was really good today, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she had a good time up here. He played cage match with this WWE man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and he helped me when I yelled for him and said, hey, I need a hand, so... But I didn't come quick. <laughs> you proud of that? Uh, we had a good time up here today. And I think probably this week I can get the rafters done. I'll order my metal. And uh, maybe next weekend we can get the roof over this thing. And then I'll start planning out what I'm going to mill for siding. And I'm not going to put sides all the way down. But I'm going to put siding on the top portion of it. Um, just to kind of close that in and then i may close in that end down there because that's the end where the head will sit most of the time you sniffing my armpits yeah i wouldn't do that today man we've been at it I uh, think they smell like deodorant. okay that's good that's good but the mill head will set up in that end so i think i'll go ahead and close that end in and i'm gonna put some shelves and things so i can store tools and keep all them up here i can put my power station and all that back in there so yeah you can put one of them but the other one powers the cabin <laughs> uh he's in rare form today well guys listen i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope you're enjoying this project of building us a mill shed don't forget to get outside and enjoy god's creation it's beautiful out here Peace. we'll see you next time